This is really just a very quick video to illustrate how to use Python. The video has been created in response to Alan's question via the comments in Lesson 1. Thank you Alan for taking the time to ask. Alan said that typing in the Python shell is a pain, and I agree. So this video will show you how to overcome that. As you can see here, I'm in the Applications folder on my Mac. It could be in the Programs folder on my PC. I've opened up the Python folder. And as you can see here, there is an idle option. If you've not already done this, create a shortcut to your desktop or drag this icon to your dock. Now click on the idle icon and the Python shell will open. And this is the source of Alan's frustration and question. Once the shell is open, we can type directly our programs into them. But if we test our programs here and they do not work, we have to start and type all over again. And this is tedious, frustrating and off-putting. Plus, we cannot save anything in the shell, even if it does work. The solution is to ignore the shell when it opens and to straight away click on File on the Shell menu. Then click on New. And a new blank workspace opens that you can type in, you can edit, you can copy and paste in. So this means that you can import code from other sources to reduce that tedious typing. And if you have already watched lesson one, you'll remember that syntax is very important in programming and Python is no exception. To test or run your program, first you have to save your program. And all you have to do is to go to the file menu again and click on Save As. Browse to your location of choice and save your work with a .py extension. To test your program, all you have to do now, once you have saved it, is to click on the Run Menu option and select the Run Module option or use the F5 button. As you can see, the outputs of the program only show in the shell now and not the commands. In idle, the print Hello World program can be seen, but the output Hello World is all that can be seen in the shell. Any changes made in the idle workspace will, once saved and run, will appear in the Python shell. Hopefully this clears up any confusion or frustration about how to get the best out of Python as you begin your own adventures in Python.